welcome back to my channel. Today's video, some people might call it a little uncomfortable, but we are just going to dive right in. It is going to be female hygiene tips. So if you're interested in seeing what I have to tell you, my little tips and tricks, then please keep watching. Um, growing up, our parents didn't really tell us everything that we needed to know, especially coming from a Mexican background. They pretty much just expect you to learn along, you know, along the way, you know? So I did learn a lot of things that I'm super excited to tell you guys about. Um, the first tip I would personally recommend is definitely air dry. Air dry after you shower. Pretty much because if you leave your vagina wet or moist, it's going to definitely create some type of odor. So the best example I can give you is if you come out of the shower and you know you wrap yourself in your towel and stuff, and then you just throw your towel on the floor in a little pile, right? The next day that you pick it up, it's gonna have a stench, right? Because it's wet, the towel was left wet, therefore it kind of starts to get this weird smell. It's the same thing. Your vagina definitely do not want to leave that wet. If not, you will definitely accumulate some type of smell and stuff like that. So that is the best tip I can give you. Um, so definitely air dry after you shower. So as most of us adults know, um, after having sex, you know, intercourse and stuff like that, you also definitely want to wash the area. If you don't have time to take a full on shower, that's perfectly fine. Definitely want to scrub down there and make sure everything is nice and clean. Any remaining fluids, you know, body fluids that can definitely irritate the area and might cause an infection. Um, so yes, definitely wash the area, take a shower, you know, clean yourself after your intercourse because definitely you don't want anything to cause any type of infection. So tip number three is if you are discharging, which is completely normal, first of all, let's just lay this out right now. Discharging is completely normal, you guys, okay? That is your vagina's way, you know, the inside, you know, of cleaning itself out. So discharging is completely normal to an extent. Definitely talk to your OB, make sure, you know, that everything looks okay and stuff like that. Um, from what I've heard, I remember when I first started discharging, I called my OB and I was like, oh my God, because it's kind of embarrassing, you know? Should you tell your mom about this? So I definitely called my OB and they described it as, you know, a clear substance, which is exactly what I had. Now, if it's anything else than a clear substance, you know, like a white or a yellowy and stuff, then you might have some type of infection. So definitely go see your OB. Um, but yes, dis discharging is completely normal. Don't freak out. I have realized that when you are discharging, you definitely want to put a panty liner on your underwear. Why? You know, if you have, if you're at work and you're going to be at work for about eight hours, imagine if you start discharging in the morning, you definitely don't want your underwear to absorb, you know, all of that stuff. We're going to be honest. So what do you do? You put on a panty liner. So these are my favorite panty liners. They are the Carefree Axi Fresh Odor Control for All Day Freshness. I'm actually going to open one for you guys so you can see. These are super cheap. This comes in a count of 22 and I think they're like a dollar. They're really not that expensive. I like them because they're so small and they're super thin. That is exactly what it looks like. Okay, so literally some days you might not discharge. Some days you will. Some days you discharge more than others. Completely normal. Try to always have panty liners in your bag or um, at your locker at work because sometimes it might be one of those days that you might need it. Um, so I always change my knot every time I go pee. I know it's a little expensive, but hey, you always want to stay nice and fresh, especially because there's 22 in here for a dollar. I mean, what do you have to lose? Like freaking two cents, come on. So um, yes, I always change my knot. Every time I go pee, um, even if it's not, you know, dirty or whatever, you know, just so you can get nice and fresh. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, so yes, tip number three, use a panty liner over your panty if you are discharging. 
All right, you guys, so another tip that I have is change often. Staying in wet clothes, wet underwear, wet bathing suits and stuff definitely can increase your chance in getting a yeast infection or any other type of vaginal infection. Um, so just a quick little tip, change as much as you can. If you are at the beach or if you're swimming or whatever, don't stay in the same bathing suit all day long or don't go to the beach, you know, you get wet, then you put your shorts over, then you go to the bar and then you drink. So just try to change it, you know what I mean? Um, especially if you're gonna be at the beach for a long period of time, you know, two, three days, you're constantly gonna be swimming, you're constantly gonna, you know, get the area super wet. Definitely try to change as often as you can just to minimize any type of infection. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot of backlash as far as my next tip, um, but this is just something that has worked for me. I do use feminine wash. Um, this is for sensitive skin. I do use the Summer's Eve cleansing cloths as well. I personally don't see anything wrong with it. I have used these products since I was, I'd say about 16 years old and I'm 26. So it's been about 10 years and I've never had any type of infection. This does help the area down there um, get balanced as far as pH goes and stuff like that. Now the problem is when you are putting this wash inside. So what I mean by inside is, we're gonna get a little physical. This is what we came here for, right? So if this is your vagina here, right? When you open it, this is where the clitoris is and all that fun stuff, right? You definitely don't wanna put the um, feminine wash inside of that area, okay? Because that is where it does not belong. You definitely wanna clean the outside, you know, the side, the lips, I guess you could call it. Um, but you definitely wanna clean all the way around. But this is what doesn't go actually inside the um, vagina area. So yes, as far as cleaning goes though, this works perfectly fine. I just feel like the regular body wash might be a little too much for that area down there, which is why I use this. I literally, I don't even use a sponge as far as this goes. I literally just put a little bit on my hand and I just clean the area really good and stuff like that. So yes, I mean, I feel like this is great. It has worked for me for a very long time. I have never had any type of infection. So yes, this works great. Now, as far as this goes, I keep these in my bag. So again, if I'm on my period, and if I'm at work, um, obviously I'm not gonna have my handy dandy wipes, you know, there. So that is when I will use um, these, you know, to go. Or if I'm at a restaurant or whatever and I need to change, I need to freshen up, that is when I will use these. Now when I'm at home, I do use these. These are called Hello Bello. Um, they are 99% water-based wipes. So this is what I use for my vagina area, water-based wipes. Now, when I go number two, I use just regular baby wipes. These are pre-moistened um, soft wipes, whatever. This is what I use for my behind. Um, but I do use these water-based wipes for the area because again, especially if I need to clean in there, I want to refrain from anything that has any type of fragrance or anything like that. So these are amazing. And I got these at Walmart. I think they're like two or three dollars for the pack. So it's really not that bad, especially because you're not on your period the whole month. You know what I mean? At least I'm not. And if you are, go get checked this. Um, but yes, these are amazing. So my next tip, I did go over this in my Dollar Tree haul. Exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. Okay, so these are new. I'm obviously not gonna show you the gloves that I do use. I have those in my shower already. Um, but these are amazing as far as exfoliation, not just your vagina area, but just your whole body. Um, Literally slip that in and then in, you, in between your legs, just on the sides, you know what I mean? Just exfoliate the area, the top part, you know, stuff like that, just to make sure you're as clean as you can possibly be. You definitely don't want to over exfoliate. I normally exfoliate the area about two to three times a week, if that, maybe about two times a week. Um, you don't really have to do, you know, too much. Just a quick little, you know, little leaven, just to make sure you're nice and fresh all the time. And just, again, it just keeps the area nice and clean. So tip number, I don't even know anymore. Just another tip, you want to change your pads and change your tampons as much as you can. Again, it also prevents any type of infection, any type of odor, and you just 
remain super clean. I am gonna show you the products that I use. Now, as far as a daily basis when I'm on my period, I do use pads. Personally, I do not use tampons um, that frequently. I will use them if I absolutely need to, if I am super heavy or if I wanna wear something specific, um, I will use a tampon, but as far as everyday use, I use pads. These are the ones that I use. These are the Always Infinity Flex Form. This is what I use when I'm gonna go to the gym or you know if I'm gonna be out and about because these are super amazing. Again, let me open this for you. TMI guys, I don't care. Y'all knew what I was gonna talk about when y'all opened this video. So this is what the inside of it looks. It's kind of like a foam. Um, these are super comfortable. They're very breathable. They are amazing. Um, but these are the ones that I use when I go to the gym, like I mentioned, if I'm gonna be out and about. Now, if I'm gonna be at home, bumming it in my yoga pants, chilling, I use the Always Ultra Thin. And this is what they look like. So these are a little bit thicker, not as comfortable. So um, if I'm gonna be at the store or whatever, I prefer not to use these because they do um, tend to rub, you know, in between your legs and stuff like that. So they're not as comfortable as these. Now these are a little bit more expensive, but like I said, they're comfortable, they're amazing. Now, as far as my tampons, I use the U by Kotex, which is this. They are super small. We're just gonna dive right in. So these are the ones that you click open and then you just place and whoop. So I like these small ones because I always have like a really small bag with me or um, my Louis Vuitton little pochette and obviously I don't wanna have all these huge tampons or huge pads or whatever. So I normally just carry that in my bag for, in case of an emergency. So this is not really a tip. This is more of my favorite different things that I like to use. As far as deodorant, I use the Dove Dry Spray. This is what it looks like. Um, I just feel like it's so light. Um, it doesn't really clog my pores or anything like that. This one is super amazing. I've used this for a few years now and it has never let me down. So this is just the deodorant that I prefer. It definitely does not leave any type of white residue on your clothing or anything like that. So my next tip is going to be avoid extremely tight clothes. Why? Yeast infection, guys. If you are going to be at home, literally during this quarantine and all this stuff, it's just my honey and I. Why am I gonna be in these super duper tight skinny jeans with my thong and all this stuff? Okay, let's be realistic. Don't get me wrong, I'll still be wearing my thong or whatever, but I'm gonna be in yoga pants, something, you know, that's, I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to the baile. I'm not going to the club anytime soon. So why, you know, do that to yourself? Um, wearing the tight clothes definitely, definitely increases your chance of getting a yeast infection. From what I hear, they are not fun to deal with. So yes, just stay away from anything that's extremely tight. So I have people that ask me as far as shaving and stuff like that because I, I am an esthetician. I don't even shave my underarms. I'm gonna show them to y'all because I don't care, but I haven't waxed in like two weeks. The reason why I do wax, I don't know if y'all can see my pits here, guys. Don't judge, I haven't waxed. Uh, but the reason why I wax versus shave is, you know, y'all know all the reasons. No ingrown hairs and less irritation, no razor burn, all that fun stuff. But also, shaving does make your pigment on your underarms a little dark. Um, so yeah, waxing for me helps even down there. I wax it myself. I don't wax all of it, um, but just like the top part, you know, the sides, I like to make it look nice and cute. And then, because honestly, it hurts, especially when you're doing it yourself, it hurts. Um, so I do use this Beat In Shower Cream. This is a hair remover and it is sensitive. Okay, so this you can put there and it cleans you up, it's perfect. No razor burn, no ingrown hairs, no anything like that. Um, I do prefer this one over this one. I feel like this one is really, really strong, especially for that area. And it made it a little sensitive. It caused definitely some irritation, but I do use this like on my arms if I'm you know, running late or whatever and I don't have time to wax my whole arms and stuff like that. I will use this for a rainy day, so I always have it as a backup, but I normally also wax my arms, my hands, you know, 
everything that I need to wax my eyebrows, all that stuff. So I normally use this for the extra areas and then these for a rainy day, but to this beach one is definitely my favorite. Now come with waxing and shaving and narrowing or whatever, you definitely sometimes, depending on your skin, you might get some type of irritation, itching, all that stuff. I use this lotion here, Curel. This is Itch Defense Lotion and it is amazing. It's so soothing. It decreases your want i guess to itch whatever area it is even your underarms if you use it i swear guys it's so soothing it's amazing this is it it's awesome very moisturizing not drying at all you guys are gonna love it i swear so my next tip is wipe correctly again um growing up i don't remember my mom ever teaching me you know the correct way she just taught me you know wipe until you're clean you know stuff like that um but as you grow up and you start realizing and you start noticing different things happening to you and stuff like that you definitely want to research and i found out that i was wiping wrong for a long time so i was about maybe 12 or 13 can you guys believe it so once I entered middle school, you know, of course, things start to change. You have to go, you know, into the locker rooms and change and stuff like that. So of course, there's always room in your brain for learning new things. And I learned that I was wiping wrong um, for the past, what, 12 or 13 years of my life. So ever since then, I obviously have been wiping the correct way. And everyone should know to wipe front to back, especially because, you, you know, your vagina's here, your butthole's here, and if you're wiping the wrong way, if you have any type of fecal anything, any type of poop bacteria or whatever, and you are brushing it this way, your vagina is very sensitive, and you will 100% get an infection. So wipe right, front to back. <laughs> oh my God, can y'all hear my dog? He's been a real brat these days. I don't know what has gotten into him. But all right, you guys, my last and final tip is listen to your body, okay? Listen to your body. If you have a foul smell, smelly discharge, something's itching, something's burning, something, feel, something does not feel normal, go to the doctor. Listen to your body. You know, if this is happening, it's for a reason. Something is going on. Might as well just go get checked and better be safe than sorry. It can be, you, you know, just something simple as you ate something that was, you know, kind of whatever and it made it, you know, a little smelly. Okay, cool. At least, you know, peace of mind. But it can definitely turn into something else, especially because cancer nowadays is so crazy. It does not discriminate gender, age, you know, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, you know, just be safe and listen to your body, ladies, okay? Love yourself inside and out, no matter what. Always remember, you are a bad bitch, no matter what anyone tells you. Love yourself so everyone else can love you right back. But that is it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any extra tips that you guys would like to tell me, go ahead and put those in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next video.